guys, Captain Foley back with you again today for a interesting video for sure. I got something from a friend of mine, um, uh, Blappy, he was getting rid of some stuff. He's had this for a few years and he thought I would really like it. I think you guys will really like it, so I'm going to share it with you guys today. Um, and that is this. The MCX uh, Starfleet Naval Construction Division San Francisco Naval Yard NCC 1701 USS Enterprise Command Bridge Operations Manual. It is a mouthful for sure. That's 130 pages drawn by Lawrence Miller. So we're going to take a look through it and see what's involved in this. Um, I'm excited. I love the movie era stuff. I think it's great. And um, this is all refit stuff. So I'm excited to get into this and see exactly what it is. And I haven't really looked at it yet. I've kind of skimmed through it a little bit. But um, this look through with you guys will be my official one. So hopefully we'll learn some stuff. We'll see some things. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. Um, ooh, on the back it says, includes detailed functions of all stations and controls. Command, helm, navigation, science station, communications, engineering, weapons, defensive, environmental control, artificial gravity. And um, he also has, Lawrence Miller also has Galaxy Class offer, offer, Officer's Manual. Klingon Bird of Prey Blueprints, Starbase 79 Blueprints, and USS Lynx Timeship Prototype. So guys, this is going to be great. Let's get into this and see what we got. Oh, I'm excited. And you guys should be too. So here we go, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys. We'll see how this goes. Um, but here you see the title or the, the cover. And that's actually made out to Dave from the guy that did the book. Chapter 1. So we got the command deck. So the bridge um, shows the view there. Also shows the TOS bridge as well. I like this other one here. The command deck. take a look through and see if you, you know if there's anything you guys are interested in you can pause the video I guess overhead detail so there's the helm station That's cool. Um, attitude control display. Navigational controls. I love how it goes into detail with every um, every panel, what it does. That's really cool. For sure. settings. Sorry if the lighting is not 100% great here, but it should be good enough. The astrogator. Chapter 3 is the engineering console. So you got the layout for everything. Shows you where it's located on the bridge, obviously. Impulse ignition. Internal communications. Impulse fuel system. Internal power. Impulse fuel management. Classified guys, don't share this with anybody. I could, get in, I could lose my captaincy because of this. Alarm initiate control. And warp drive optimal parameters. I love how it also shows you where it's located <laughs> on the uh, consoles. 
like for each little thing. So that's cool. You can do an accurate bridge if you guys wanted. What is this? Impulse engine operation parameters. Transporter power. Communications is there's the layout. We got log memory. External audio communications management. External video communications management. And again, showing you where each thing is on the panel, which I think is super cool. Emergency Auxiliary uh, Generator Holographic Transmission Controls huh. Auto Beacon System Chambers Coil Power Level Indicator The Chambers Coil is over right in there uh, internal communications, um, main power indicators, communications transfer keypad, the main antenna, or the manual antenna calibration, sorry. Distress Beacon Decoder Display. Voice Graph Analysis Display. Fancy. Subspace Signal Strength Display. Oh, it's so cool that they've like got all this mapped out. And it basically just tells you how things work, which is cool. Subspace antenna tracking. Chapter 5, this is the science station. Oh, there's a lot going on in the science console for sure. And this is all like motion picture era, obviously. Like the bridge from the motion picture. Primary computer interface. Love those key board layouts. I like how that all makes sense. That's really cool. Magnostatic statistics control. Blah, blah, blah. Words. Internal communications. Remote probe controls. Wave analysis controls. Radio metrics. Temperature sensor select. I guess that's where you turn on the air conditioning for the ship. Some sciences. Who touched the thermostat? Um, power level indicators. Radiation scanner display. It's there. <laughs> Next page for specific use of this panel. This is the metallurgic sample analysis. Oh my god, this is so cool. Function overviews and everything. My microscopy. Microscope, microscope, scopy, microscopy controls your sure. 
that's the words. <laughs> um, life forms detector. Life forms. Do, 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 do. Precious little. Oh, it's classified. <coughs> Gotta stop showing you this stuff, man. Gravitational waves. <coughs> Gravitational wave sensor controls. Um, computer bioanalysis unit. DNA sequencing. That's cool. Library computer core memory display. Oh man, I wish I had Alcaraz for all of these. Chapter 6. This is the weapons station. There's the front. Uh, so, torpedo load status indicator. Also classified. I won't do that with everything. All this is classified because it's weapons, right? Internal communications. Defensive power levels display. Defensive shield power expenditure display. Phaser fire control. Photon torpedo aiming. Torpedo away. Shield status. That's cool. I love the shield status displays. Um, defensive shield controls. Communications transfer keypad. Things neat. Um, environmental control station. So environmental control. Uh, this is where you turn on the AC. Right there. Uh, internal atmosphere control. Yeah, there we go. There's the thermostat. Internal communications. Data entry keypad. And auxiliary generator status. Atmospheric gases storage. This is for the to release the fart spray throughout the ship. Maybe I don't know. Um, external skin temperature display. Oh, classified. Atmospheric. Composition display. Um, power system test location display. Okay, okay. Atmospheric test controls. Um, gas reclamation status display. Solid waste recycling status display. We're gonna have to do videos on some of these systems, I think. That would be fun, actually. Um, liquid waste recycling status display. That's for your pee pee. This is for the poo poo. I know, I'm a child. Sorry. Uh, damage and repair section. So it's over there. They knew, they knew where to hit us. Who? Who know where to hit us? And why? Uh, this is a system failure manual override. Oh, so that's a manual override for some of the... That's cool. That's cool. Uh, damage analysis display. Hmm. Internal communications. There's internal communications at every station, which is neat. Uh, maintenance status controls. It's very similar to the um, 
bridge operation manual that um, Rick Sternbach um, gave me a few years ago. Damage display monitor, that's just the difference. Decks, you can see the blueprints there. It's a passive display, no calibration is required. Okay, there's more. Just internal damage. Secondary hull status. Exterior damage monitor. Oh, that's so cool. This is my kind of thing. I love this stuff. Exterior damage monitor profile. Security station. And of course, security would be classified as well. Um, so we got internal security communications controls. Internal security calibration. Internal security alarms. Uh, unit isolation select. Duty status report. Command duty status report. An internal security report. Exterior sensors. I'm not going too fast, guys. I just kind of want to show you this. And um, like I said, if you want to pause anything, you can probably uh, make out most of the details. Um, gravity generator controls. So your artificial gravity. There on the ship. Communications transfer keypad. System failure manual overrides. Almost done. Almost done. Um, warp power output display. Internal communications. Gravitational field stress indicator. Artificial gravity generator display. We're usually good. Artificial gravity usually doesn't go out. So. Transporter power display. Power Systems Availability Grid. And it looks like that's it. Like I said, there's everything it includes. Command, helm, navigation, science station, communications, engineering, weapons, defenses, environmental control, artificial gravity. And then there's other ones available by Lawrence Miller Hero here. Uh, Galaxy Class Offer Officer's Manual. Klingon Bird of Prey Blueprints, Starbase 79 Blueprints, and USS Lynx Timeship Prototype. So, I don't know how long Bloppy's had this for, but um, this is really, really cool. And I just want to give a special shout out to Bloppy. Thank you for uh, thinking of me. Um, and you wanted to get rid of or not necessarily get rid of it, just clear out some stuff. So, thank you so much, Bloppy, for that. So, this is it the MCX 17083. Naval Construction Division, Enterprise Command Bridge Operating Manual. So there we go. So thank you, Blappy, so much. And I'm sure everybody out there watching uh, thanks you as well. This has been awesome to uh, take this look at um, the 
bridge displays um, and operations, how things work. So guys, um, I guess that's it. All right, so there you have it. You don't even have to go to Starfleet Academy. You know everything you need to know about the refit and how to control every system on the ship. So there's a lot of great stuff in here, as you saw. So if you can find any of these books by Lawrence Miller, by all means, I suggest picking them up. They are fantastic. Some really great details and some cool stuff inside. And hopefully um, you guys enjoyed that. So if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. And don't forget to check out other videos by us as well. Um, you know, we do a lot of great stuff. We focus on the ships and text, so it's kind of our thing. If it's your thing, by all means, like I said, subscribe to both channels, the Captain Foley personal channel and the Trek Yards channel, and don't forget to check out other videos. we got a lot of cool stuff. So until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley, signing off. Bye, everybody.